Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sammy Ketchum, and welcome back to Sammy Ketchum TCG. Tonight, we are going to be taking a look at a Surging Sparks deck profile. We are going to be taking a look at Pikachu EX. All right. Going to be taking a look at Pikachu EX. All right. This is the newest deck from Surging Sparks. All right. This is the poster child for the set. <laughs> um, this is what everybody's going to be talking about. <laughs> and I'm going to have a sweet deck profile for you guys. Um, all right. So, without further ado, I'm just going to jump straight into it. And we're going to start talking about this deck profile. All right. We have ourselves three copies of Pikachu EX. Now note, this is a peroxy. All right. So, you know, these aren't the real cards <laughs> and it's in Japanese. <laughs> but I can tell you exactly what this card does. All right. So, it has 200 HP. It is weak to fighting. Now, you see that it's weak to fighting, wherever that is. All right, it has one retreat cost. It has this amazing, amazing ability that says that if this Pokemon is at full HP and gets knocked out by damage from an attack, its remaining HP becomes 10 instead. So it doesn't get knocked out. It doesn't get knocked out right away. By full damage. You have to two-shot this. You either have to two-shot this, use Dust Nor, two-shot this, or use Dust Nor, or some sort of damage before you attack it. With damage head on. Alright? Now, this has one attack. Um, I forgot what it was called, like Topaz Lightning or something like that. <laughs> Alright? For a lightning, a grass, and a metal energy, this attack does 300 damage, all right? And you have to discard all energies attached to this Pokemon. Now, with this deck, we have ways to power this Pikachu up, to get him powered up and ready to attack, all right? And you could do it again and again until... The game is over or whatever. So we have ways to get this powered up in this deck. All right. One copy of the main man, Iron Hands EX. This is a great card, a great inclusion in this deck. When you can take um, two prizes with it, it's amp you very much attack. All right. Three copies of Magneton. Also, three copies of Magnemite. We're not going to go over the Magnemite because he's just here to evolve into the Magneton. But we're going to talk about the Magneton. All right. Magneton has this wonderful ability that lets you, um, you get to... KO him, so you move him for the bench, your opponent takes a prize, you KO him, but after you after he gets KO'd, you get to search your discard pal for three um three basic energy cards from your discard pal. Any basic energy cards from your discard pal, any three, and attach them to your lightning Pokemon in any way that you like. So three of any combination. So it could be a grass, it could be a lightning, it could be a metal, all right? It could be two lightning energies. 
in a grass. Or it could be a fire energy, a lightning energy, and a psychic energy. <laughs> Any three types of energies. Okay. If you have two of them out, you can use two of them at the same time and give your opponent two prizes. And you can get six energies into play. Six basic energies. That is amazing. That is wild. This is one of the ways we're going to get him powered up. Three copies of Noctowl. All right. Noctowl has this amazing ability, which is the reason why it's in this deck. All right. Um, if you have a Terra Pokemon in play, which Pikachu EX is a Terra Pokemon. All right. You get to search your deck for two trainer cards and add them to your hand. So trainer cards, any of your supporters, any of your items, any of your tools, any of your stadiums, all of those cards are trainer cards that you could search for and you get two of them. This is so broken. It is insane. Find any two trainers you want. If you have a Terra Pokemon in play, that is amazing. Three copies of Hoot Hoot. They're in here just for the Noctowls. One copy of Pheasant Skibbity Bee Toilet. <laughs> all right. We all know why he's in here. You want to flip the script. One copy of Mew EX. Now, this is something that I'm doing. Um... I haven't seen anyone else run this card in this deck. Um, what I found is that sometimes when I'm, you know, discarding for Ultra Ball or discarding things or doing things, I find that my hand size gets pretty low. And Mew EX can draw me two to three extra cards to get me the cards that I need when I need them. This, in combination with Pheasantipity, it's a very good combination, especially in this deck. So, I added this in here instead of something like Greninja or whatever, because, you know, with the way that this deck plays, I find that this is very useful. Useful. One copy of Squawkabilly EX. I have seen this in a couple of builds, but I really like it in here, especially if if you go first, if this deck goes first, or whatever, you know. Um, you play it, discard your hand, draw six cards. If you have sort of a bad start, um, you can Ultra Ball for it, you can Nest Ball for it. Um, you can get a refresh on your hand and get a decent start. Two copies of Professor's Research. Two copies of Iono. Two copies of Boss's Orders. I've seen most decks only run one Boss's Orders. Um, I like to run two. Um, I, I just I just like that security of two Bosses. More gusting never hurts. One copy of the Crispy Boy. <laughs> the Crispin. All right. Um, search your deck for two different types of energies. You can attach one to one of your Pokemon. The other energy goes to your hand. If you only have one type of energy in your deck, that card automatically goes to your hand and you don't get to choose one to attach to your Pokemon. 
So you have to get two different types of energies with this card. But this card is very good in this deck because you get to accelerate an energy card, a basic energy card. One copy of Briar, all right? When your opponent is at um, two prize cards remaining, if you have, if you're attacking with a, with a Terra Pokemon and you take a knockout, you take one extra prize card. This card is very, very good, especially in this deck where you can manipulate your opponent's prizes, especially with Magneton. Four copies of Ultra Ball. Four copies of Buddy Buddy Poffin. All right. To find your Magnemites and your Hoot Hoots. I'm actually thinking about cutting one of these for something else, but don't know what else yet but right now we have four for the consistency of finding those cards um three nest balls um i think three nest balls are very necessary for this deck i've seen most deck only having two in there three is very good with this deck especially as the many basics you tend to have in this deck Especially ones other than the Magnemite and the Hoot Hoot. You know, you've got the Pheasantipity, you've got Pikachu, which is a very good basic you want on the bench and you want to be able to find it. So you want to be able to find your Pikachu EXs, your Pheasantipities, your Mews, your Squawkabillies, all that stuff. So three copies I think is very, very good. Two copies of Countercatcher. I've seen most decks only won one. Um, with this deck, you're going behind on prizes, especially with the Magneton. So these um, Countercatchers become live, you know, more often than every other gusting card in this deck. So that's where we got two of these and two boss. To give you that good chance to gust up on your opponent's Pokemon. Um, two copies of Switch. Um, I actually could cut one of these for something. But two copies of Switch. copy of Unfair Stamp. Um, I really like this card in this deck, especially when this deck is coming from behind. A copy of Earthen Vessel. Okay. One copy of Super Rod. Super Rod helping you get back those energies and Pokemon you need back to your deck. Copy of Pal Pad. Put, put two of your supporters back into your deck. One Power Glass. Now, I have seen this card in some of the other Pikachu EX decks that I've seen online. And I actually like it. So I wanted to include this card in this deck. What this card does is that at the end of your turn, if the card that this is attached to is in your active spot. You can attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to it at the end of the turn. So you can keep energy, you can keep an energy on your Pokemon, especially if it lives to see another turn. So after you use Pikachu EX's attack and discard all the energies, at the end of the turn, 
with this, you get to add one of those energies back. And then next turn, you can play Crispin and attach, attach one from the deck. And then also you have your attachment for the turn and Pikachu's ready to go again. So I think this is a very good card, especially in this deck and especially in combination with Crispin. One copy of Defiance Ban. If you, um, if you have more prizes than your opponent, this card adds 30 damage to your Pokemon's attacks when this is attached to it. So this is the way that we could basically kill things like Charizard EX, Dragapult EX, you know, bigger things. Because Pikachu's attack does 300, this will add 30 more damage. Two copies of Area Zero Underpants. I mean, under <laughs> under depths. All right. Um, if you have a Terra Pokemon in play, you may have up to eight Pokemon. Up to eight Pokemon on your bench. This is absolutely busted. Get out all of your guys that you need for your strategy to work. All right, all your support guys, all your Fezendipities, all your Mews, all your Luminions, all your Pikachus, your Noctowls, your Magnetons, whatever you want. Up to eight Pokemon. One copy of the Gravity Mountain. This card is very good and it's one of the newest stadiums in Surging Sparks. All right. This card um, minuses the HP of stage two Pokemon by 30. So cards like Charizard EX, Dragapult EX, um, their HP gets cut down by 30 HP. So since it's originally 330, it now goes down to 300, making Pikachu EX be able to knock it out. If Dragapult EX is 310, 320, it now goes down to 290 or 280 or whatever. So this will allow you to knock out those important stage two Pokemon that you can't hit. Three lightning energy. Three Grass Energy. And three Metal Energy. Now, um, I have seen some decent inclusions um, in other people's decks that I am considering putting in here. Um, I just watched Zach Lesage's Shuffle Squad video on Pikachu EX. All right. I I like the inclusion of the Blood Moon Ursaluna and the Manaphy. I like the inclusion of those two in the deck. Um, the Blood Moon as a late game attacker. I, I really like that. I've seen that be a decent success card in my own Maridon deck. So I know how good that card is. Um, the Manaphy could be decent in stopping um, in stopping decks that attack the bench. Um, it keeps your Magnetons your Magnetons and your Noctowls safe. So um, it keeps them from trying to take multiple prizes. So, um, I, I, I think that, I think that is a very, very good inclusion. Those two are very good inclusions. Um, also another, another earthen vessel could be nice as well. Um, but yeah, um, 
This is the deck on Pikachu EX. Um, I may have other versions of this build um, coming up later on. Um, but this is, I think, this is the standard. I think this is amazing. I think this build, this version of it is the best version that we can have. So, all right. Without further ado, that is the deck. That is the video. All right. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, make sure you take care of yourself and each other. Thank you.